Bronchopneumonia is defined as multiple areas of isolated uh, consolidations in lungs that are not limited to one lobe. On X-ray, you'll see multiple opaque diffuse densities. And here's an example. So there's a density here, here, and multiple densities in this area and in this area as well. Microscopically, this uh, is a sample of lung and you can see a relatively normal alveoli filled with air but this area, this area, this area, this area, this area they're all diseased. They're bronchial branches and the alveoli around uh, these bronchial branches are filled with exudates. This is another uh, magnified view. Uh, so this is a bronchial branch and the alveoli around it are filled with exudates. Uh, they should normally be filled with air like this. Also you can see uh, inflammatory cells around uh, this bronchial branch which are neutrophils and um, they are there as a immune response. Uh, so the focus of disease is a bronchial branch and then the uh, the infection is spreading into surrounding alveoli here. This is the culprit which is known as Staphylococcus aureus. It is a gram-positive bacterium uh, which is uh, a frequent cause of bronchopneumonia. It should not be confused with streptococcus pneumonia, which is another bacteria which causes lobar pneumonia as compared to bronchopneumonia by staphylococcus. I would like to thank Dr. John R. Minarsik. Uh, his two slides have been copied from his lectures on YouTube. Uh, and these are the references here and the lecture is prepared for www.academyofprofessions.com thank you very much